Okay, so if you search on Google for Firebase, you can see here the first link here. So firebase.google.com. If we click onto that and get started, I'm already signed into a Google account. So if you have a Google account, you can just sign in and then all you need to do then is create a project. So this project is going to be called Hotel Admin. So Hotel Dash Dashboard, like so, and click continue. And then if we press continue again and the account you can see here is my account and create a project. So that will create the project for you with Firebase as well. You have a lot of different functionalities that you could use to enhance your project, for example, authentication and so on. But in this builder, we're just going to be using the Firestore database. So now it says your new project is ready. So if we click on continue, so on the left side here, we have a build tab. And if we click on that, you can see all of the services here that we could use. In today's build, we will be using the Firestore database. So all I want to do is click on that. But before I actually click on that, I want to click this, which says web. So if you click on that, and we need to register our app. So it's going to be the hotel dashboard app. And I also want to set up Firebase hosting for this app so we can deploy it as well and then register app. So as you can see here, it gives you instructions on what to do. So first off, we want to install Firebase like so if I copy that. And you also need to install the Firebase CLI. If you haven't got that already, you can just Google Firebase Global Install CLI. And then once you have that, you can continue with this process here. So if I close my terminal and then paste in the npm install Firebase like so, I'm just going to expand this because what we also need to do in our project is create a lib folders to handle all of our external libraries that we import. So uh, in our source, we're going to create a new folder in here named lib and inside lib, I'm going to create a new file named firebase.ts. And in here, you can see that it says we need to initialize the Firebase project. So I'm just going to copy this and paste this in here. So the version we are going to be using in today's build is Firebase version nine. So the latest one, so I'm just going to delete everything off here. And the key thing we need is the config because this is what connects our React application to our database. So the only thing I'm going to do is keep the Firebase config. So if I delete the get analytics because we don't need that. As you can see here, we are importing initialize app from Firebase slash app. So the benefit of Firebase version nine is it has a tree shaking syntax on there. So we only import what we need. In this case, all we need is the initialize app method from the Firebase module. So instead of importing the entire Firebase module itself, we just need the one method. So therefore, what that does in a production environment is it improves the speed and performance of the app. So that's a benefit of using version nine. So all we need in our file here is the app. So I'm going to export this like so. And now all I want to do is create a new file in here, which is going to be a controller. So this is where we define our CRUD method. So create, read, update and delete. So controller.ts. And if you could generate your own Firebase config, because this one will be deleted by the time the video is up. So now that I've created my controller.ts. I'm going to go into my Firebase console and then click next. So also you need to install the Firebase CLI. I already have it installed on my machine, but if you have never used Firebase before, if you just copy this and run this in your terminal also, and then all we need to do is click next and we will leave this step until we are ready to deploy our app. So if we click continue to console, we now have our app sync to Firebase. So all I want to do is create the database now. So if I click on the build and Firestore database like so, and then we want to create the database and start in test mode and click next. And then here we choose our location. So I'm just going to leave it as the default location, but you can change it in here. So actually I'll change it to Europe West because that's where I am and then click enable. So now it's going to create the Firestore. So now, as you can see, we have our Firestore set up. I'm going to create a collection first of all. So this collection is going to be named Hotels. 
and what we want to do is generate a document ID. So this is the ID that we have over here. So if I click on view more information, then we go into forward slash hotels forward slash the document ID. As you can see here, this is what Firebase generates and this is how we separate our individual hotels. So if I click auto ID on here, we want to add a few fields on here. They will all be strings. This is what we create using our create component. So we have all of these fields here. So if we create them now, first one is the country. And this is going to be USA for the, our first hotel. We also want to add the description. So description. And I will just paste that in here. So then what I will do is add the rest in now and then save. So now I have all of my fields here. So if I click save, we now have our first document on here. So now we can work with this on our front end. So as you can see, this will be the structure. So we have a country description, a feature of the hotel, the ID, which is going to be the same ID as the document. We have the location, which is a string for the image URL, the price per night, the region, review, the amount of stores that hotel has, the title and the total price. So going back to our app here on the home page, we now want to create the card component and fetch what we have created in our Firestore database. So we will be doing that next.